So just a quick introduction. Um, my name is Amy, and I am currently leading Hire Easy's customer education team. I have been with Hire Easy for a little over three years, uh, leading various uh, customer-facing teams. I have been working with clients across all industries to align recruitment and business goals with how recruiters and TA leaders are using the platform. Uh, my team's mission is to design and deliver learning experiences that help all hire easy customers and TA professionals grow their knowledge of both outbound recruiting and the hire easy platform. Um, I'm super passionate about teaching and learning and a little bit of a fun fact in my spare time. I enjoy knitting and playing with my two cats who you might see running around in the background today at some point. So our agenda today is going to cover three core themes. Um, like Kumar mentioned, we'll leave time for questions at the end of today's session, as well as, you know, any questions that kind of pop up throughout today's session, feel free to drop them into the chat as well. Um, we'll start today's session with a high level introduction into outbound recruiting and the outbound recruiting tech stack specifically. Then we'll dive into where you can consolidate that tech stack specifically, different examples of how we have seen this done successfully across our client base as well. And then we'll really dive into how you can create workflow efficiency with a consolidated tech stack. And again, kind of sharing specific examples around how you can leverage Hire Easy to support that efficiency as well. So I'd like to start with providing a quick outline of outbound recruiting and how it compares to an inbound approach. So today, of course, we'll be diving specifically into consolidation of the outbound recruiting tech stack, but it's important to understand that these two methodologies and strategies, when we, we talk about the recruitment technology, they go hand in hand, right? And there is some overlap in the systems that cover these two core uh, strategies. So how is outbound recruiting different from inbound? Right? Inbound recruiting is a passive approach it's geared towards active job seekers, right? The hiring organization or company waits for candidates to apply for the job and, you know, does involve referrals as well in that process. You know, outbound recruiting, on the other hand, is a very proactive approach. The hiring organization reaches out to candidates about jobs and really gains control of the whole process. In this scenario, candidates are typically passive, but can also be active, right? And in these um, kind of combined types of candidates, right, timing is everything. So I want to visualize here how the two inbound and outbound channels fit together with technology. So on the inbound side here, we have our job boards, right, where candidates apply to jobs, your company's career site at the top of the funnel as well. Candidates eventually make their way into the ATS as applicants here, where the hiring process begins. Now on the outbound side, right, there are several functions driven by holistic recruitment teams, right? From sourcers to recruiters to hiring managers and TA leaders. This makes up the top of the funnel as well. So candidate search, research, engagement, scheduling that first round interview, similar to the outbound side, as we make our way through all of these steps in the outbound process, again, eventually the candidates make their way into the ATS. Given the nature of um, outbound recruiting being so active and, and proactive, rather, the search and particularly the outreach process are super critical to ensuring candidate conversion and the efficiency of a team's workflow. What we commonly see here, though, is that each of these kind of functional areas, right, the sort of yellow buckets, they're segmented, right, across many different typically expensive systems.
And so breaking down this concept a little bit further, right? We still have our outbound stack visualized here on the right-hand side of the page. But now I've aligned each functional area to specific systems that recruiting organizations typically deploy, right? So for example, for just the search function, we see teams that may have you know, two to three different siloed sourcing tools. They may have outsourced some roles to you know, staffing agencies or RPOs. And these multiple tools, they don't actually talk to one another, right? They're just, they're sitting there side by side, but the data is super siloed. And without a cohesive process in place at that early stage of you know, the funnel, and really lacking a platform that can consolidate the candidates across these different systems, recruiting and sourcing teams spend way too much time switching between these different tools, trying to keep track of their pipeline, the status of their candidates within each of those pipelines, and it makes it way dif more difficult to effectively move candidates through the process in a timely way. These challenges then become compounded when we look at the engagement function, right? So engagement or candidate outreach, it comes in a lot of different forms, right? From emailing and in-mailing candidates to texting and phone calls, a multi-channeled approach is, you know, oftentimes the best way to get the most traction with candidates. But in this scenario, right, there's not one system of record. And CRMs, they tend to take on this role, but they're costly, right? Teams struggle to adopt them. And again, they're still oftentimes siloed from those sourcing systems. So workflow efficiency, team productivity, they're heavily burdened by this. And so there's a client that I work with, a, a large tech organization, and you know, I want to share kind of an example of this because we see, you know, organizations that have you know, maybe five or six different sourcing tools across various different business units, right? And, and this specific client that I work with, this is kind of the tech stack that they operated in in the past. And each team really struggled to make sure that they knew what was happening with that candidate across all the different systems, right? One recruiter might be finding this great candidate, is planning to reach out to them, but then they don't even realize that there's, you know, another recruiter across the organization that's already, you know, a couple stages into the interview process with that individual. And so that might be, you know, a, an extreme example for some organizations, but again, kind of as the number of tools in the tech stack expands, those are the kind of um, you know, elements of disconnection that can happen when we're using so many different systems and you know, what's happening is not consolidated into one place. What if though, right, one platform could support all of these different functions, right? That would be ideal. So your outbound recruiting tech stack, it could be consolidated from you know, upwards of seven different systems into just two. So let's take a closer look at this consolidation, right? We've got our sourcing tools, our CRMs, uh, calendar tools, to name a few. There's a high cost, right, financially and operationally to have this many systems in place. You know, not to mention how valuable each and every recruiter's time is. Every minute counts, right? And many minutes even hours, right, are lost when an individual or a team has to navigate through several different overlapping and oftentimes overcomplicated processes. Additionally, right, many TA leaders, they've shared with me that there's a lot of challenges that they face with really clearly and cleanly reporting on their business metrics across their, you know, hiring goals, pipeline data, et cetera. Right. They have to pull this data from multiple different systems, run those reports, manually consolidate them into maybe spreadsheets or maybe into yet another system. And it's so important right now more than ever with the kind of current economic landscape that we're able to have a clear understanding of you know, 
your team's performance and impact within the organization on your business goals. So here's another example of the outbound tech stack, which you know, some of our clients have actually deployed. Right? Keeping in mind kind of this mirrors the visualizations that we saw a few slides back, right? The inbound and the outbound channels. We can start by simplifying our inbound solutions to initially reduce spend. And from there, you know, further simplify on the outbound side. So something that we've heard from many of our clients is that you know, LinkedIn, right, which is a very common system that teams deploy, it's doubling its cost, sometimes even more than doubling the cost. One way you can simplify is by really prioritizing using LinkedIn in an inbound way, right? Maybe keeping a couple seats for job posting, right? And just start with that. And from there, consolidating the search function into Hire Easy, right? Hire Easy is going to extend your team's reach into you know, talent pools beyond LinkedIn, and it's going to cover the rest of the core functions of outbound recruiting that we've discussed today. Similarly, you can even replace your CRM with a additional system that can really just power your career site instead, right? CRMs, they cost a lot of money, right? Sometimes upwards of a couple hundred thousand dollars. And there's a simpler solution that can be deployed, right? A software such as Clinch, um, just to name a specific example, right? That could host your career site. And then the candidate outreach, the prospect nurturing, that can be consolidated into Hire Easy within our engagement functionality. Now, depending on the you know, nature of your current tech stack, whether you, you know, already have a CRM implemented or maybe are considering implementing one, something to kind of consider or keep in mind as well is the cost of standing up such a heavy system you know, as a CRM, right? Going back to what I mentioned in uh, the last slide, it's expensive financially and operationally. And this spend on both fronts can be decreased by leveraging Hire Easy in place of a CRM. Right? The initial implementation period for Hire Easy is much quicker, right? Several weeks as opposed to several months. And the platform still integrates directly with your ATS, right? Just as a CRM would. And likewise, your team's workflow is simplified still by bringing the engagement process into one place, right? Driving efficiency across all aspects of the top of the recruiting funnel. So this efficiency that we're you know, starting to talk about, it can really be driven by you know, not only consolidating your tech stack, but also by really just maximizing and optimizing how you're using the functionality and the core components within the stack as well, right? A lot of systems have a lot of functionality and again, some of it is overlapping when you have so many different tools in place. But once you do consolidate, right, let's say using Hire Easy, there are several different you know, products within Hire Easy functionalities within the platform designed to make outbound recruiting easier at each step of the funnel. And again, kind of optimizing for each of those, leaning into each of those we can really extend the team's you know, productivity at each step in the process. So from easy insights to sourcing to rediscovery, Hire Easy is streamlining the process of you know, leveraging analytics to strategically source, understand the market, increase collaboration between hiring managers and recruiters during the intake process, Increasing the quality of candidates sourced, right? Allowing you to gain a competitive edge in a very challenging market. The platform further increases the conversion rate of candidates as well that were sourced across all of these different data sources, right? From Hire Easy's sourcing capability in the open web to finding those candidates that have been you know, rediscovered through your integrated ATS using Hire Easy search functionality. The increased conversion rate 
it doesn't just stem from that increased quality through the search function, but also through outreach, right? These engagement capabilities related to email sequencing, meeting scheduling, a lot of other kind of components tied together to boost your response rate, which eventually, right, the more candidates respond, the more likely we are to get more hires down the line. Taking this a step further, you know, I want to kind of step through another example, you know, this time really leaning into the more specific functionality in Hire Easy, which drives workflow automation, uh, streamline collaboration, and increased candidate conversion at each stage of the funnel. There's a lot of workflows and use cases for Hire Easy, which our customers leverage with you know, great success. But I want to highlight this as an example that really leans into kind of automation in the workflow, um, kind of step by step as well. So in this slide, we're kind of starting at the very top of the workflow. Analyze your data, your talent pool, and search for qualified candidates. Right at the very first milestone in this process, we have a functionality, a capability for the automatic creation of projects. And so this functionality, it aligns your Hire Easy project with an ATS job, making sure the two are kind of functioning side by side, importing that job from the ATS into the Hire Easy project, and then automatically running a search based on the job description associated with that, that ATS job. So the system is very intuitive in the sense that it can parse through that job description to quickly build a search framework, all the basic requirements, which of course then the recruiter or sourcer can then kind of you know adjust and tweak a little bit to make it more robust. And then as we're building this initial baseline search, right, the system it gets things kickstarted in a really automated way. Then over time, the AI continually recommends new candidates for you, for your recruiters. And those recommendations, they're aligned not only to the search parameters, but also to the feedback that you've given to the system. You have the ability to you know, mark candidates as a good fit or not a fit when you're in the platform. And by doing so, the system is always learning. It's getting smarter over time. And this calibration process, it helps yield increasingly more qualified candidates over time. Additionally, as we're building our initial you know, searches and pipelines in your higher easy projects, we can also share profiles in bulk. So to kind of share you know, a scenario, right? A lot of teams may have a lot of spreadsheets, right? From a collaboration perspective, the spreadsheets kind of function as the core communication mechanism between you know, sourcers and recruiters and hiring managers. Spreadsheets are hard to maintain. It's a super manual process. There ends up being way too many of them kind of floating around. And so what can happen is we bring that process you know, outside of spreadsheets, let's get rid of the spreadsheets and bring it into Hire Easy. Sharing profiles in bulk, sharing projects, you can consolidate this feedback between hiring managers and recruiters into one system. And so this also you know, helps support efficiency as well when an individual is not trying to, you know, search through a bunch of different spreadsheets or maybe Slack messages, things of that nature to find the information that they're looking for. They just have to go to the project in Hire Easy, find that candidate profile and see all the relevant historical notes for that individual candidate. Now, stepping into kind of the next stage of the funnel, right? We talked about sourcing, analytics, and now as we're building our pipeline and you know, we've got a good set of candidates that we're ready to reach out to, now we're ready to start 
engaging those candidates, scheduling that first round interview. So again, leaning into kind of the automation of things in Hire Easy, you're able to send email sequences in bulk with automated follow-ups. So those follow-ups, they go out to candidates that have not yet responded to prior messages. And in addition to that, we're able to include quick response options for candidates to further increase response rates. This has been a game changer. We've heard so much awesome feedback from candidates, uh, well, recruiters primarily on that really, you know, easy to use one-click reply. So you'll see kind of visualized in the slide here, there's a poll component, right? That's kind of the quick response option. There's variables to kind of further personalize messaging as well. Another great way to save time when you don't have to email each candidate individually, you can email these candidates in bulk, but the messages are, per messages are personalized enough that the candidate feels that, you know, this is an individual message just sent to me. And then last but not least, the meeting component. So Hire Easy actually integrates directly with Gmail and Outlook calendars so that you can further streamline that back and forth that, that typically happens between a you know, recruiter, a hiring manager, and a candidate, right? Scheduling that first conversation, figuring out you know, calendar availability, why not just include a simple link, right? The candidate can click that, find the time that works for them, schedule that first round meeting much quicker. And so again, all these components kind of tied together, they help boost that conversion rate over time. Another specific example here is really how some companies have tied in not just that outreach to candidates for active requisitions, which is kind of what was highlighted in this last slide, but from this lens, really diving into that you know, nurturing workflow, right? how CRMs are typically used to nurture candidates over time that are not necessarily associated with a particular job requisition. Right. This is a workflow that a couple clients of mine have deployed over the years to really you know, have both of those functions running side by side. Right. We can reach out that initial you know, cold outreach to candidates. And then as we get that feedback from the candidates, you know, yes, I'm interested in a specific role, right? we can move through the process of scheduling. But let's say the candidate, it's not the right time yet. They're not open to a new opportunity in this moment, but maybe down the line, right? We can shift that candidate into a new project, one that's specifically designed for nurturing talent, and then run them through a long-term sequence campaign, right? Those automated follow-ups that I was mentioning. Adjust the content. So we're highlighting, you know, maybe employee testimonials, uh, DEI highlights industry wins, updates on the company, right? And all of these things, nurturing the candidate over time so that when the timing's right, your organization is at the top of mind, right? And we're able to really, again, boost that conversion rate for these candidates that you know, are able to really have you know, your company at the forefront of who they think of when, okay, I'm ready for a new opportunity. Oh yeah, that company that has been sending me emails, I wonder what jobs they have open. Let me reach out to that recruiter that's been in, in touch with me and, and see where we can pick up the conversation. And then of course, from there, scheduling that conversation. So again, as we kind of mentioned earlier, there's so many different workflows and use cases that can be deployed. And this is just you know, kind of one, two examples of how we have seen engagement used across different teams. Um, but the system's super flexible, right? We can build out these workflows according to you know, your team's workflow, a specific business unit's workflow, and you know, get that flowing from there in a really automated way. 
Now the next step of the workflow here, right? This kind of wraps up the final milestone in the outbound recruiting funnel, right? In this workflow, we are ready to move candidates from Hire Easy into the ATS. And so we are able to do so manually or automatically, right? Leaning into that automated functionality, we call it auto sync. We can export candidates at a particular stage automatically into a specific job in the ATS. So it's kind of like a trigger point. You can set this up on a per project basis to decide you know, when this candidate reaches the replied stage or when this candidate reaches the you know, scheduled stage. That's going to automatically move the candidate into this particular job in the ATS, this particular stage within that ATS job. And then from there, continuing through the bottom of the funnel workflow. So not only is that a game changer for recruiters, because you don't have to manually keep track of which candidates need to be moved from one platform to another, but it's also huge for simplifying reporting, right? Going back to measuring impact, the effectiveness of one's pipeline, we're able to make sure that candidates are being moved through that process in a measurable way. You can report on how a candidate starts at the top of the funnel and moves all the way through that ultimate goal, right? Where they hired eventually. We can keep track of each of those elements by ensuring that all the candidates that are supposed to go to the ATS, they're going to the ATS automatically. And then last but not least, right? Outbound recruiting is a cycle. We, we talk about it as a funnel, right? A lot of times and that example certainly works, but also the cycle, the loop of moving candidates from your ATS back into higher easy, right? It's a continuous automatic process of refreshing, enriching those profiles so that when you do go back to run another search, you're not just sourcing the open web, but you're sourcing and searching candidates that have been nurtured, that have expressed interest in your brand. And over time, right, those are candidates that are more likely to reply. They're candidates that are more likely to be open to an opportunity to work at your organization. And so as we wrap up this workflow, right, from sourcing to engagement and outreach all the way through to that final milestone of moving candidates to the ATS. You know, again, there's a lot of different nuances to this process that can be customized for your organization. But the key thing here is that every step of the way, you can automate the process, keep it in one system, and you know, keep things really organized right in one place. And so as we wrap up today's session, you know, I hope you all take away a few key learnings, you know, some ideas for how you can incorporate these concepts into your outbound recruiting strategy and tech stack, you know, a couple key highlights, right? Your outbound recruiting tech stack, it doesn't have to have more than two to three platforms, right? You can really consolidate. Consolidating your tech stack is going to help decrease costs, improve your workflow efficiency as well. And last but not least, right, while no two workflows are exactly the same, Hire Easy supports many different global teams with varied tech stacks to achieve their recruiting goals. If you're just getting started with outbound recruiting, Hire Easy is the easiest place to begin.